What if you're going through the wrong puberty? That you are female, but now you're going through a male puberty. It's possible to be like me and be happy. The treatment options for gender-affirming care for transgender youth uh, really are evidence-based. What would you say to folks who think that they're being reasonable by saying, why can't children just wait till they're 18? Adolescence is hard and puberty is hard. What if you're going through the wrong puberty? What if you inside feel that you are female, but now you're going through a male puberty? Well, thank God no one is going through the wrong puberty because that's not a thing. A child going through their natal puberty will never, ever be considered the wrong puberty. Puberty is not a disease, the last time I checked. Just because someone is uncomfortable with their puberty, which is like 99% of all people, but even for those who have a very strong discomfort regarding their natal puberty, it is still the right puberty they're going through. Biology is real. Your biological sex is the truth. You can be uncomfortable with reality, but it doesn't change reality. I think it's sick to hear some adults say that children are going through the wrong puberty, are implying that there's something wrong with the child's natural development, when they're simply just existing. I can't. No child is born in the wrong body, because it's not a thing. If you believe that a boy can be trapped in a girl's body, or vice versa, you need to seek help, my friend. It sounds like a person is like possessed or something. I don't necessarily believe in souls. I don't believe that my soul is male, but my body was female. I'm a female. I'm a woman with a mental disorder that made it impossible for me to live my life as such. That's it. No one is trapped in my body. <laughs> and I didn't change my body in order to set someone free inside. Do you know how crazy that sounds? You can actually argue that some children are going through the wrong puberty, and that's the trans kids, that adults force to transition. I do hear the argument a lot, well, children didn't consent to go through their natal puberty. They don't have to because it's natural. That's their natural development. Do you have a problem with that? Do you think that it's ethical to mess with a child's natural physical development? You don't need to consent to nature. You don't have to consent to what your body naturally want to do when developing. I know it sounds crazy, but... <laughs> and you can't really compare it to sterilizing a child just because they say, mommy, I'm a boy or mommy, I'm a girl. The argument is, well, they're too young to know. I want to make it clear that for prepubertal children, there are no medical procedures done. The standard of care allows them to explore that um, with therapy. Okay, so you think that a child who has reached puberty is old enough to know if they will benefit from puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, etc.? Some children reach puberty really, really early. We're not talking about at age 17 and a half. Just a side note, why do children who are not even experiencing puberty yet need therapy just because they say they're the opposite sex? Children are not old enough to decide if they want medicine that will destroy their fertility and sexual function when they're not even old enough to have sex or children. When you speak out against these bills, what do you cite as sure. the harm? Well, gender-affirming care is medical care. Gender-affirming care is mental health care. Gender-affirming care is literally suicide prevention. No, you're wrong. How can you say all of that when you transitioned when you were like a hundred? You didn't transition until after you became a parent. And there are literally videos of you saying how grateful you are and how happy you are that you didn't transition when you were young because now you have your children. But I have no regrets because if I transitioned when I was young and I wouldn't have my children. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine a life without my children. And so every experience led me to here. Look, I completely understand that. I think that's great. I think it's great that you're a parent. I want to say father, but I think YouTube will not like that. But why should children be sterilized? And you shouldn't as a kid. Disgusting hypocrite. I gotta ask, why is it so important to you to take children's ability to have children on their own away from them? How are you not able to see how extremely hypocritical you are that you're advocating for children going on puberty blockers that will sterilize them and then in the same breath brag about how you have children and you're a proud parent and you transition when you're old, and you're so happy that you didn't transition when you're a child. 
correction, you were happy that no adults in your life forced you to be sterilized because you said that you're a girl instead of a boy. Stopping and ruining a child's natural development is not care. Putting puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones into a healthy child is not good. It's not healthy, physically or psychologically healthy. And when we're talking about children who go through precocious puberty, we're starting to be more careful handing them puberty blockers due to the same side effects that I constantly talk about on my channel. Osteoporosis, infertility, the list is so long, it's depressing. So if we're starting to not give puberty blockers to children who go through precocious puberty due to serious side effects, and these children actually physically need the medicine, Think about how dangerous it is to give to physically healthy children. But according to trans activists, if the child just identifies trans, then all the side effects will disappear. I think it's so impressing that you can just identify your way out of dealing with side effects. I don't like the term gender affirming care because it's gender denying care. And as I said before, it's not actually care when you're ruining a child's body. We're not giving children the opportunity to discover themselves if we actively stop their development. And even psychologically, socially, if we just affirm these children as the opposite sex, how would they know they're not the opposite sex? Children thrive on affirmation, validation from adults. If your son likes dresses and Barbies, please don't take him to a therapist. He's not sick, there's nothing wrong with him, he's just playing. And sometimes I wonder when children are going to gender specialists, were they even miserable? Like, were the children miserable? And that's why they needed therapy. Or is it because the parents saw their child playing with the opposite sex toys and thought that there's something wrong with the child? And that's why they needed therapy. What is it about a boy playing with Barbies that makes him miserable? I mean, if he's playing with Barbies, isn't it because it makes him happy? It's funny because why do we assume that a boy playing with Barbies has a mental disorder called gender dysphoria? I'm not saying that all children who deal with symptoms of gender dysphoria should do like Rachel Levine and wait until they're like 100 years old before going through the transition. I wasn't able to be a parent before I transitioned and I think most transsexuals feel the same way. What I'm actually saying is that we don't have the right as adults in society to determine if a child should be a parent or not. Hi kids! It's possible to be like me and be happy. In fact, it's great to be like me and to be happy. It's okay to like dresses, to like sparkly things, to be a little... It's okay to be a little different than what people want you to be. If it's okay for a child to be different, why do we have to put them on puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones so they pass more as the opposite sex when they're adults? Is there something wrong with being a woman with a beard? Is there something wrong with being a man having his period? We're not actually allowing children to be different if we're just forcing them to be the opposite sex instead of leaving them alone so they can figure out in peace who they really are, trans or not trans. And I'm old and I grew up without any examples of, of people like me. And so I really, really wanted to tell you it's possible to be like me and then grow up and be happy. The narcissism is real. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy that I can be a role model that people can look at me, 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 and think, wow, what an amazing person. Oh, I wanna be like Jeffrey. Oh my God. It's possible to be like me and grow up and be surrounded by wonderful friends, to be really, really fulfilled in your life, to have a good, long, happy life and to, yeah, be joyful. I'm the example of someone living a perfect life. Look at me. But I mean, I do like the idea that we're teaching children that you can actually grow up as a man and like feminine things. That's totally fine. It doesn't make you any less of a man and it doesn't make you trans. Oh wait, that's not what Jeffrey is advocating for. And that's not what Jeffrey is calling himself. He calls himself trans. How on earth are you trans, my friend? Well, you're not. But I mean, how do you actually see yourself as trans? In, in what way can you compare yourself to me? 
I used to look like this, honey. And now I look like this. How did your transition look? Was it also painful? Psychologically and physically painful? It is okay to be different. But what is different to you, Jeffrey? Because all of what you're saying kind of sounds good. But you call yourself non-binary, which is not a thing. You call yourself trans, which you're not. Just because you're a man who likes to wear makeup, ugly makeup and ugly dresses. It doesn't make you any less of a man. And if you disagree with me, it just shows how intolerant you are. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want, you can support me with a small donation under Super Thanks. It means the world to me, so thank you, and thank you for supporting me. Click the link down below if you want to become a member of this channel. Remember to follow me on Twitter and on Rumble under the same name, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.